Howdy YouTube. Got up bright and early this morning because I had to go see Rabbi Jesus and pick up Little Red. So Little Red is back on the rack. Hopefully, we're going to be able to do a scooter run today. But meanwhile, I got to get on the road, man. We got places to go and parks to see. So we are going to head back north towards Temple and pay a visit to Union Grove Park on Steelhouse Hollow Lake. So let's get going. Union Grove Park on Stillhouse Hollow Lake. I'm having to get over here. Uh, my site is, they're still in the site. I'm here early. Considering I rolled out of Lockhart State Park this morning at 5.30, drove almost to San Antonio and then turned around and came back with Little Red. Hopefully we're gonna be running her today. But we are here at Union Grove Park, and it is windy, windy, windy. <laughs> really windy. Not too conducive to audio. Uh, I'm gonna see about, I was thinking about putting a hook in the water, but with the wind blowing as strong as it is, I don't know if I'd do any good. I might just get in the RV and ride around. Stay tuned, more to come. Union Grove Park on Stillhouse Hollow Lake offers up screen shelters for your pleasure. So when the bugs are out, you can sleep without getting bit. Man, I can't believe how windy it is. See about getting some wave action time lapse. Well, now this is <laughs> this kind of surprises me. This is actually the bath facility over here by the screen shelters. Yeah, 
and it's it's in it's a, it's tiled. Normally in <laughs> normally in a COE park, it's oh, and it's got bug screens. But normally in the COE campgrounds, it's not that nice. Here at Union Grove Park, if your kids are wearing you out, play structure. A little bit tight for my butt, but it'll work. As windy as it is, you pretty much just have to lift your feet off the ground and the wind will blow you back and forth. Well, I found a place where it's not so windy here at Union Grove Park. Still House Hollow Lake, Union Grove Park. It's still windy, but it's not as windy. The beach. Looks like the water might be a little bit low, which is kind of surprising with all the rain that we've been having. This has been a very wet winter. Let's go see some more stuff. Well, out here at, where are we? I have forgotten where I am. We're going to go take a look at Hall Field. Union Bluff. It's a COE park. Open all year, 8 a.m. to sunset. This is an RC airport. So if you're into flying model aircraft, this just might be of interest to you. Hall Field, Colonel Retired Robert J. Hall, in honor of. There was there were some planes flying earlier, but they seem to be done for the day. How y'all doing? Wonderful. All right. Been running around on Little Red. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that scooter back. I've been missing it. Didn't realize how much I missed it until I got it back. All right, so I'm, I'm walking down here to investigate the fishing pier. Because from up there, it looks like it's sitting on rock. But I guess it's not. Lots of weeds. At least the wind has kind of died down a little bit. All right, Union Grove Park, Steelhouse Hollow Lake. Let's go check out a boat ramp. All right, we made it over here to the boat ramp. Union Grove Park and these kind gentlemen offered me 20 bucks to take Little Red down on to the courtesy dock. I declined. All right, let's go see what else we can get into. Well, thanks to Rabbi Jesus fixing Little Red, <laughs> that, little, that little scooter gets it, man. Gets right along. I'm already done with just about everything there is to video in Union Grove Park. So, I guess I'm gonna go put a hook in the water and see if we can catch some fish. Stay tuned, maybe you'll see a fish. Just about out of battery. And then a big wave comes along and messes it up. What I wanted to share with you is this, <laughs> this whole hall oh, hall. Oh. Kind of like 
like the blue man like group. The blue man. Someone who has an audio talent, a musical talent, could probably edit that and, and make an interesting soundtrack from it. I might give it a shot. I don't know. We'll see. Union Grove Park. Union Grove Park. Check this out. The wind has finally died off. I didn't catch any fish. Didn't get a bite. But that's not why I was fishing. The wind just finally died down. And my lakeside campsite has become the ultimate dining facility. I mean, this is the... <laughs> All right, so here's here's what I'm looking at while I'm eating. You can, you can join me in my dining pleasure. How cool is that? We gotta wait for the speedboat to go away. We lose the tranquility. The videographer is supposed to be the storyteller. I don't think I'm that great a storyteller. I'm a stuff teller. You guys, you, you, you need to see this. Stillhouse Hollow Lake. Don't know who it was named after. So it is pretty. If the sun was shining, it'd be even more pretty. Then it'd be hot. I'm grateful to be here with an overcast sky. All right, so y'all look this way a little bit now. That's upriver. I don't even know what river this is on. Union Grove Park. It's only about 10 miles off of 35E. Way better than a KOA. Don't get me wrong, KOAs serve a purpose. Well, man, if you're traveling north or south through central Texas and you need a waypoint place to just stop, this costs 10 bucks. Actually, it cost me nine. The only thing I can hear right now are kids playing and laughing. Can't go wrong with that. I'm almost done with my meal. My eyes were bigger than my stomach, of course. Reach out to Kent at Wenzel's Lone Star Meat. Wins, Wenzel's Lone Star Meat .com. In the description down below, there will be a link. Reach out to Kent. Tell Kent you need the Dude RV Special on some Lone Star Brats. These, these are just, they're the best dang brats that I've ever eaten. Tell Kent you need them sent to you wherever you are. And then go find yourself a lake. Any lake will do. Anyway, reach out to Kent, tell him you need the, the Dude RV Special, and he'll send you a sticker and a meat of your choice with a little discount. This is the RV. Dude, this is Dude RV. So I finished supper, and I went in and put the dishes, washed dishes, and cleaned up in the kitchen in the RV. Uh... When I was sitting out here before, when I was sitting out here eating supper, there was no wind. It was humid, humid, um, peaceful. And in just the few minutes that it took me to go in and clean up the kitchen, not even 10 minutes, I come back outside and now the, the wind is blowing <laughs> out of the north. The contrast you just saw. We were we were looking at that while I was eating supper, and now the wind is blowing out of the north. I'd say 10 miles an hour, and I think I'm going to have to go put on some pants because it's kind of getting chilly.
that's RV camping in Texas in March. Well, actually March, April, and May. Uh, it, the weather's just gonna change, but at least it's not boring. Hey, we'll catch up with y'all in the morning. We're gonna go to another great Texas State Park tomorrow. And we'll talk about that after this really cool montage time lapse that I spent all day shooting video footage for and I have spent hours compiling and finding the right soundtrack. Please enjoy and I'll be back tomorrow. from Union Grove Park. Man, the weather didn't get any better. Uh, that cold front blew in. Hold on. That cold front blew in yesterday and it went from being warm and muggy or hot and muggy with overcast skies to being overcast skies. A cold north wind blowing and mist falling out of the out of the sky so it's cold damp and it's just not a i'm leaving there's not much point in spending any time here because i'm not going to go down and fish in these conditions so we're going to pack it up and get on the road get on the road we're going to go do something fun and exciting we're going to head to fort parker state park over by Mahia, texas I hope you've enjoyed our brief visit to Union Grove Park here on Steelhouse Hollow Lake. If you're passing through Central Texas, you might want to stop in, maybe catch a fish or two. If you've enjoyed the visit, hey, do one of them thumbs up things, blast me out across your social media. If you're, and remember to subscribe, I'm very honored when you subscribe. And for those of you who have been following along Thank you so much. This is why I do what I do, to show you where you can take your RV. 
thank you so very much. I'm very honored that you're following. Hey, let's get on the road and head to Fort Parker State Park. Y'all come back now, you hear?